This is problem setup. We have a cube with side lengths of 2. And we have three circles inscribed on three surfaces here as marked in the diagram. We have points P, Q, R as three points on those three circles. And we try to find mean and max of the parameter of the triangle formed by point P, Q, and R. Of course, for this sort of problem, you would like to find the mathematical expression for the parameter or the quantity s here. And the way to do it is you want to establish a proper coordinate system so that p, q, r would have some coordinate values. From there, you use distance formula to calculate s. And then you do some mathematical analysis of s to find the mean and max. Let's do that. So in this case, it is good to set the origin of the coordinate system in the center of the cube. Notice that the cube side length is 2. So let's do that. Here, the origin here is the center, right? X, Y, Z are marked in the green axis here, right? So with this coordinate, the P point, right, would have X, Y, Z where x is a constant value of 1. What about y and z? Notice that p is going to move around on the unit circle. Notice that the side length is 2, so the radius of the circle is 1. So here's the unit circle. It's good to use cosine sine arva as a parameter. You know, the angle here is a parameter. Now similarly for q and r, same thing, right? For the q, the y value is constant, which is 1. But x and z varies. Again, we're going to use cosine and sine. Right? R, z is constant 1, but x, y varies. Right? So let's do that. So here, we use alpha, beta, gamma as the three parameters to represent different positions of p, q, and r. Right? So with that, we can plug in the distance formula. So the parameter value or the s value here is this complex expression here, right? So let's look at the mean of s. In order to minimize this, we would wish the term like sine beta sine alpha to go away. Why? Because alpha and beta are the free variables, right? We can have a choice such that sine alpha equals sine beta. All right, so use this argument, we claim that s is going to be greater or equal to those terms goes away, right? Is going to equal to this. And the equality here happens when we have this constraint. Now, how to proceed further? Now, here we only use a consequence of AM, GM inequality. Now, this is a less known form of AM, GM inequality here. We claim that A squared plus B squared right, is greater than one half of a plus b squared. Another fact we're going to use is that sine x plus cosine x is equal to square root of 2 sine x plus pi over 4, right? And then that is bounded by negative 2, right? So with these two, we're going to apply this inequality to the three individual term, right? So a squared plus b squared is greater than half of a plus b squared and then square root will go away, right? Square root of, uh, of this square is simply a plus b. So in other words, we continue with the inequality here. This is square root of one half, right? But everything square root goes away, so it simply becomes the summation of the two terms. And similar here, we're going to simplify that. That becomes this one. Now here, sine alpha cosine alpha is bounded by square root of 2. Same thing for beta, same thing for gamma. So what we have is this one. Now, is this equality achievable? The answer is yes. The condition here has to hold A has to equal to B, you know, this one has to equal to that one, right? So what do we get is when alpha beta gamma equal pi over four, all the equality condition holds, and S would equal to this minimum value here. 
So that's the answer for a minimum, right? How about the max? Let's go back to the original distance formula here. This is a parameter as we try to maximize this value here. Now notice that we this time we're going to express out, expand out the expressions. Notice that cosine beta square plus sine beta square equal to one, cosine alpha square plus sine alpha square equal to one. So if we expand it out, some term will, will combine to one. So what you get is this one, all right? So now we can do further analysis by using what is called cauchy schwarz inequality, okay? So here, for easier notation, we can call this term S1, the second term S2, and S3. So what cauchy schwarz inequality tells us in this case is that we're going to have a 1, 1, 1 inner product here square is going to be less or equal to individual square sum of square here. Notice that square root square and this square root goes away. Simply become S1 plus S2 plus S3. This is 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. So we're going to rewrite. This is left hand side is S square. So in other words, we have this. What is S1, S2, S3? That's the expression over there. All right. So let's recap. So we claim the S equal to the square root of this, right? And S square is going to be less than this. We can just plug in here, right? The summation of S1, S2, S3, that's 12 matters, 12 of these. Now here, we can do further algebra trick here. That is, that is one plus sine alpha, one plus sine beta, right? Now here's the inequality here, only true if those terms goes away. In other words, some term here is zero, right? Either cosine beta equal to negative one or cosine gamma equal to negative one, cosine alpha equal to negative one, you know, same thing here, sine alpha equal to negative one or sine beta equal to negative one. Is that possible? The answer is yes. Again, if we choose alpha equal to negative pi over two, beta and gamma equal pi, then all the terms goes away and here is going to be 54 is achieved in that case s would be square root of 60, uh, uh, 54 so in other words we claim that maximum is achievable and the maximum value is this right so in summary this is what we get in the coordinate system that's marked here we, we did some analysis to calculate the, param uh, the parameter of this triangle Right, and we did some analysis saying that the mean is achievable with the value as this, right? Or the or the alpha beta gamma equal pi over four, remember? And for the max is achievable with those setup here. This is the mean, this is the max. Alright? I think this is an interesting problem. Hope you like the video. Please share and subscribe.